What's up, guys? Check this out. It's a dam. I'm on top of a dam. I'm doing a wheelie on a dam. So I rode out here and I'm going to make a video for you guys. And the video is going to be a review. It's going to be a, a review on the on a helmet. And that helmet will be the AFX FX41. And I don't know if you can see, but there's cliffs right across the way here. See those right there? Those are cliffs. That's about a 50 foot cliff. And uh, that's where I'm going to do my helmet review. But before I take you up there, I'm going to hit up the stair set real fast. Stair sets are fun. Oh yeah. Alright guys, here we are. This right here is South Holston Lake. Okay guys, so my girlfriend picked this up for me for Christmas. And it came just about a month later. And it's March right now, so I have about two, two and a half months of riding experience with this helmet. So I think that's enough time to give a solid review on it. So this helmet comes in at around $150 from AFX. Uh, I think if you look around, you can get it for around $130, $140. I'm pretty sure we got it for about $135. The price is awesome, and that's great. But uh, that being said, that it is a rather cheap helmet. Uh, the build quality really isn't all that great. But, uh, I mean, you do get what you pay for, and I honestly think this is a pretty good bang for your buck. Okay, so the vents on the helmet, we got two vents right here. This uh, top vent here that slides forward and back. And then you got two brow vents right here. And then you got uh, this spoiler looking vent in the back here. And then you got one right here in the front. So one of the big things that I don't like about this helmet is actually the airflow. It's a little bit too much, honestly, because I'm coming from a normal dirt bike helmet. And with that helmet, it was really cold. And this helmet honestly isn't much better. Even with all the vents closed, it's still a pretty cold helmet in the winter time like it is right now, even though I've got a beautiful day to do this review on. But uh, it's a really cold helmet, and I'm kind of disappointed by that. I was hoping really that it would help warm me up. I wouldn't have to wear a face mask as often, but that's really not the case. The seal right here isn't that good. I don't know if you guys can see that, and I don't know if that has to do with the airflow or not. But the airflow is really heavy, and it's just really a cold helmet to wear, which, I don't know, that's really a good thing and a bad thing. So in the summer when it's hot here in Tennessee, I'm sure it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really, really good to have all that airflow. It's going to keep me cool. But right now, it really honestly sucks pretty bad that this helmet allows so much airflow. And this little thing right here on the bottom doesn't really help, honestly. Maybe if it came all the way up to the cheek pads, it would help. But uh, it honestly doesn't really help that much right now. Another really good and bad thing is this uh, this uh, strap mechanism here, the ratchet strap kind of thing, snowboard binding looking thing here. Uh, I mean, it really does help and it's easy to get on and off with your gloves. But... I like to use my helmet lock on my bike and I just clip it right here and I'm sure there's a way to get it off the bike from that. So I mean that really is kind of a bummer that I can't use my helmet lock as or as safely as I would like with this helmet. But this really is a cool feature if you don't have a helmet lock I think. Definitely. And one annoying thing that happened whenever I got this helmet was that this top visor here was pushed all the way forward and this uh the shield would come up all the way which i mean it was easily adjusted by just moving the visor back but i mean it's just some really annoying thing like why would you have it come all the way down if you couldn't lift your visor up another cool feature about this helmet is the little sun shield here that comes down but i really wanted to rock a tinted visor with this and i really don't see a point now if i have this other than the looks so i'm really not sure if i'm going to rock a tinted visor with this because of the sun shield yet but uh i might Another note here is that this thing gets jammed really easy. Like if you were to push this back up with your hand like this, I can't slide this back into place. It gets jammed. So that's one annoying feature about this helmet also. Another little thing about that sun shield here is that I'm really glad they decided to go with the, uh, the uh, dark tint, the dark smoke on it. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the Rev Villa video that uh, they had the light smoke on that helmet and so I'm really glad that they decided to go the dark. Of course there's going to be wind drag with this helmet with this big old visor and stuff. I mean it really, coming from my dirt bike helmet, it really isn't all that bad. You know, I mean you tilt, you tilt your head from side to side, it's going to pull on it a little bit and of course if you go back it's going to yank on it back but other than that it really isn't all that bad. I don't know if I'd recommend it for you sport bike riders that are going at really high speeds but uh, other than that it's really great. 
Okay, so the main reason why I bought this helmet is because of the look, and I'm pretty sure that's a big reason why a lot of you are going to buy this helmet. It's just because it looks so freaking mean. I mean, just, it's just a mean looking helmet. It's so aggressive with the side cutouts here for a, a neck brace and the way it comes to, it's kind of elongated right here at the, at the chin. And it's just, it's really just a good looking helmet. Um, and that's a really big selling point, I think, for this helmet and a really, really was the main seller for me, at least, why I got this helmet. Because I really like the uh, dirt bike look coming from a, a mostly dirt rider. I really like how how aggressive this helmet looks. And this helmet did actually come with uh, little pieces that go right here. If uh, if you didn't want to use this visor, maybe just rock goggles, you could uh, put this little piece right here and it wouldn't look so unfinished after you took the visor off. So that's another cool feature about this helmet. All right guys, so here I put my goggles on it and as you can see, it does fit a goggle pretty well. A little bit of folding in the strap here, but I mean, that's pretty good. It fits a goggle pretty good. I actually do wear a goggle whenever I go off-road. Helps a lot. All right, guys. So that was my helmet review of the AFX FX41. <laughs> and I'm really freaking scared right now. I'll walk down to the end of the cliff. See if I can't peer over this edge right here. Woohoo! That is scary. All right, guys. Well, if you like dual sports stuff and hooligan kind of stuff, check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.